I would just say, stay tuned. The day of reckoning will come. The record will be straight. Why not set the record straight down? I mean, what is it about the record that's not straight? <laughs> stay tuned. live no probably not because youtube fucking blows youtube God, sucks fuck soul. youtube that's why we're on youtube because it yep. fucking sucks that's why we came here instead because for as much as you fucking suck youtube as terrible as you fucking are somehow you still don't make the same fucking mistakes that twitch does so yeah we're fucking oh, actually they do they do because we went live and we lost an entire episode we did with gdr oh, so that's yeah. now gone yeah, so we're gonna reschedule with with GDR and redo that shit. I think whenever we start putting out an episode that we feel too good about, like our the platform that we're on has to be like, nope, nope, that show's gonna be lost. You can't do that one because we were having a great show with GDR. Like that yeah. first show that we did that was lost on Twitch. That was one of the first episodes of Underhaven that we actually felt good about. I don't know, man. But these fucking platforms, it's funny because they give and they take away, and they do a lot more fucking taking away these days than giving. So how you been, Sandra? Oh, I'm I'm good actually. Uh, I'm ju I'm just a little bit tired because uh, I actually have uh, you know I, I don't just fucking study full time. I also have two jobs. That, that's the thing, you know. If you want to fucking study, but you don't want to fucking rely on student loans and shit, I guess I'm kind of Jewish that way. Hey, who knows? Whoa! Um, and then we're on Twitch right now. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, is that why your head's on fire? Because you're hey, doing all that fucking shit every day. But no longer exists on Twitch. It no yep. longer exists on Twitch. <laughs> no, but anyway, so what do you do? So what do you do now? Like, if you want to get into that, if it's not too personal, like, what what do you do now these days? Uh, okay, okay. So, so here, here's the thing. Uh, I, I study full time uh, chemistry at the at the university, um, but I also have two jobs. Uh, so I work part time as a substitute teacher. I can also be booked if, if I make myself available for time outside of school school hours. They can also book me through that job uh, as uh, one of the um, staff members uh, at like an activity center for for youth, you know, okay. which they can go to after school or whatever. Yeah. Um, but basically, I mean, I, I'm a substitute teacher from anywhere. Uh, it can be as low as the fourth grade up and, you know, up to fucking high school level. You know, part, I, I also work, you know, uh, uh, looking around your room to make like what can I make up on the spot hold on <laughs> well, I, got, I got a Simpsons poster hold on the, the nuclear power plant no it's, it's just, yeah. just, uh, I'm, try, I'm trying to find a word for what, what you would call it in, sure, uh, sure, in English sure. no it, it's basically a home for people who have disabilities uh, but it's also one of those oh, okay. where I'm, I'm called okay. in if I'm needed basically um, so it's, it's not a solid thing but I, I usually get called to this service uh, home uh you know, once or twice every every month. It's like a little bit of extra fucking money. But my main income is from being a substitute teacher. Sweet. Well, I, so, I gotta say, you've changed a lot since the last time I saw you. Because I googled your name, and this is what came up. So wait, what? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> this is one. <laughs> wait, you used to so, be I a woman? Know. Holy shit! I wish I... you the best in your uh, transition endeavors, yeah. but man, I mean, I have to say, okay. Like you're 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 breaking my girlfriend's heart right now, okay? <laughs> like she she's not supposed to know this. Oh, okay. I outed you by Cut googling it out and your post. name. Cut out and post. Cut out and post. Yeah, this didn't happen. Yeah, it's gone. Don't worry about it. It's gone. Look, the internet she, she, never she saw wishes, it. She wishes she wishes she had the fucking you know curly wonderful fucking hair that I do. My Fuck. my hair my hair is like ridiculously fucking annoying in a way because it's like it's always well kept like. I I'm not even kidding you. Like you have straight privilege. 
Dude, but anyway, you know anyway. I, I, I fucking envy you guys because I wake up to this giant fucking afro every single fucking morning that I have to tame and like fucking try and. Oh, keep I thought you were gonna say like, like I wake up to like an anime pillow on my side. Oh my All god, right. what, dude, what's that say about your perception of me? I guess I don't know. But I yeah, mean, look, I, I mean, mean, I understand. Like, it's not easy for you guys to talk to me because I mean, here's the thing. Like, I'm I'm actually getting a fucking really good fucking education. I'm actually already working and being entirely self-sufficient, you know, and I have a pretty fucking good job. You know, I'm a fucking chemistry teacher, you know, part time substitute. Yeah, so, I can't relate yeah. with that at all. The, the the world already knows that you're losers. So, I mean, it's fine. You, you don't have the fucking expectation on your shoulders as I do. You know, I mean, so, that's why we're doing this show, right? Fuck yeah. All right, so speaking of losers, do you want to get into some Hillary shit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good transition. Right. Good transition. You're a mean one. So we're... I don't have a video for this. We're, we played it on our last show, but that's now no longer archived. So we're just going to do it again. After, you know. uh, do you just ever want to just lay in bed and say, fuck this, I'm getting out. I mean, I am going to go into full seclusion. No. And they're never going to okay, hear me again. No. First of all, um, that would only delight my adversaries. Um, so. <laughs> no, it, it would delight a lot of people. A lot of people. My it's adversaries. Like, what you mean? Do you ever think about doing this being? perfectly? Do you ever think about doing this perfectly reasonable thing that like ninety nine percent of people wish you would have done a long time ago? No, no, that would delight my my opposition. Which no, is I a, can't a be wrong. It's a terrible fucking answer just right off the bat, because it's like it's not like okay, I have this duty as this politician, as this uh, person of of public note. No, she instead it's that like the people have a duty to her. That's how it is. Yeah, it, it would please Trump. It would please the people who are um, competing against me in the election that I will inevitably yeah. take part in. How obtuse is that? Like, even though something's factually correct, I refuse to acknowledge its existence because people I don't like might like it if I say that. It's like, you, you just need to face the fucking reality that you lost. You've been the most fucking bitter loser in fucking U.S. presidential candidate history. Like, has there ever been a more fucking bitter loser of a candidate after you got your ass handed to you by Donald Trump of all people? No, I mean, look, I mean, you know, it's it's not it's not like he he won by a little margin either. Like he he won bigly. And and by by the way, I don't know if you saw that, but you might as well fucking show that's like a message for my GF. I mean, she she knows the truth, man. I know you want to talk about her, but we got to get into this Hillary shit. I know hey, it's don't make not me a think fun. About Fick and Hillary in the same fucking sentence, please. It's not a fun alternative, but we got to do it. We got to fucking gotta do, do it. it. Uh, okay, okay, I'm I'm gonna have to fight my fucking you know acid reflux, but fine. Yeah. All right. Finally, I have this unique perspective, some of which we've been talking you about do. today. I have a unique perspective. You don't have a unique perspective. I have a You've particular a understanding of the Russian threat. And it's not going to only be Russia. I mean... So you must be laying awake at I night. I do. I worry a lot. Because you know how I, what the shenanigans yes, are. I worry, I oh worry a lot. You've negotiated I like how, uh, Wait, you know what? I just pause this for a second. You know what I just realized throughout this entire like thing? I know it's only, it hasn't even been that long, but it's just Howard Stern feeding her things to say, and she's like, yes, actually, you're right. I, I, oh, I, 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 am, I am the greatest woman to ever live. Oh. You know, you're right. You're right. Donald Trump, he doesn't know anything about what's going on here. Yes, Howard. Yes, you're Howard. You're right. It's just nonstop. Yes, yes Howard. Yes, Howard. I had to deal with sniper fire yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh we should play that on the show yeah, at some yeah. point we we have it too it's a classic it seen secret intelligence i have and you know that you know there's these guys who phone from nigeria who phone your home and somehow finagle six grand out of you by doing that yeah. and you're brilliant at yeah. It. yeah wait wait, are, wait wait so wait hillary fucking <laughs> falls for those fucking algerian princes and shit is that what's no no no, no. It, it, it's 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 like an example of, of like how conniving some people are it's oh, not okay. brilliant it's like the, the, <laughs> pretty it's dumb the, honestly the, the lowest form of scamming imaginable only it's old like, people fall for that shit right i mean yeah, it's like boomers like and Hillary. idiots like that's Hillary. not brilliant. That's that's like easy pickings. You know, you just pick out the, the dumbest people in society and prey on them. Anyone bet, could do that. I bet Hillary only has all this paranoia about Russia because she's fallen for one too many scam calls. Oh, uh, yeah, like uh, Tulsi, for instance. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hello, hello. Is this uh, Hillary Clinton? Oh, uh, yes, yes, this is her. Uh, you, you mind me selling some plutonium? You know, a little bit of blood noise. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I mean, wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> She's wow. Like, no, but, but alien from so, so, Mars so, 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 attack so, 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 now. Yeah. Seriously, people, anyone who's watching this, Google Plutonium 1, okay? Plutonium 1, and you will find some fucking shady-ass shit. But there's actually a deal between her and, and Putin 
you know, from, from a, I think it's like a decade ago where, uh, yeah, they no. made a deal with uh, this company. I think they're called uh, Plutonium One. And uh, no, it, it, it's funny how she accuses, you know, Trump of being a fucking Russian plant when she has, you know, way more fucking contacts with with the with the Ruskies than he does. And yeah, never mind all the dealings I have with Russians. Never mind that. Focus on the the Russian Russian collusion that is apparently going on between me and anyone who is in my competition. I mean, focus on that. Look at the human Cheeto, okay? Not me, basically. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that that's basically all it is. And here's the thing, right? All these people they work together uh, behind closed doors. I, I I believe that not even just like these American politicians and rich fucks, uh, but I think like globally, like all around. Like I'm not saying that there's some Illuminati or something, but they, they have each other's backs. Uh, they don't. They only do this shit for posturing and to get people talking and shit like that. That's the only reason why Hillary went on Howard Stern and is clearly saying these things that almost seems like Howard Stern is feeding her to talk about. It's really mysterious how that works, but it's just a drum of controversy. Like that's why I find it funny that that they they say that she has like a unique perspective when the only perspective that this woman ever has had is that is which is pot and paid for, and we'll never know how she really feels about anything. Can you mm -hmm. imagine what's going on when Vladimir Putin sits there and plans against the United States? Well, but you know, you can read the, the indictments against the Russians. And I, you know, As a lot of what? people didn't... Look, look, this is Hillary literally planning against Vladimir Putin, so how is it any different? <laughs> it just is. Never mind that. It because I'm a woman. Very uh, informative and scary. Do you mean the Mueller report? Yeah, the yeah. indictments. Okay. It, the report itself, I think, is also worth reading. But if you read the indictments... You know, basically, they were like, hey, let's do everything we can to elect Donald Trump. I mean, that's, th those are quotes. Those are taken, words. They those said, are words yeah. that taken. And uh, well, Sanders, here's the but, thing. The U.S. Know. president has a huge fucking impact on not just the USA, but the entire fucking world. So, of course, other countries are going to try and have some type of influence on the elections. It's not like I, I, I don't know why this is something that people just insist on talking about because it's not going to stop. There's nothing that we can do to fucking stop it. Uh, it's just a, it's absolutely obtuse to believe that it won't change. So we just need to deal with it and have our fucking own impact on our elections that we can and not worry about other fuckers. For Do we day. hate Bernie Sanders? What? Do we hate Bernie Sanders? No, I don't hate anybody. Bernie could have endorsed <laughs> no. him. Oh, sure, bitch. Sure. Yeah, you don't, yeah no. you, you don't hate him. No, no. no, no I just totally not. I, I don't want him to, to be killed. I just want him to not be alive at the hands of somebody else. You know. Uh, yeah, he, you know, yeah. uh, w w w what I find funny about this is this bitch literally, uh, Julian Assange, when he started leaking shit back in 2016, he started leaking something at, at least. And she got so fucking annoyed with him and she hated him so much that she, I'm, I'm not kidding you, she literally asked people, can we just send a drone strike to him? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, you can Google this shit. Like, she actually asked that. Can, can we just drone strike him? And this was when he was, I, I think this was when he was actually at the embassy. Okay? So she wanted to drone strike an embassy in London. <laughs> That's how hateful this bitch is. Who needs it, right? Yeah. Anything I'm told something vile and fucking hideous about Hillary, it's just the norm to me. I, I'd be surprised if I ever heard her doing something nice. And that's the thing. Like, I can't think of one good thing that this dumb bitch has ever done. In her what, what I find really annoying <clears throat> as well about all of this is, like, I, I don't like Trump. I, I actually supported Bernie from the beginning. But that being said, like, I am constantly forced by, def you know, by default to defend the guy, to defend, like, the human Cheeto. Um, because yeah. this fucking bitch... It, like she, she she's just, just so disgusting like you know what i mean exactly like, like she is so vile to the core that even fucking trump you know it, 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 yeah. it, it is preferable like it sounds horrible to say because i i actually uh you know I, I agree less with trump politically it's just that fucking guy who himself is corrupt in many ways and what we've found um i mean he is still a better president by default than her she lost to the Cheeto <laughs> Man, a, f a fucking yeah. you know, reality TV star. Yeah. yeah, it's like you know a lifelong career or somebody who just goes, "You're fired." And Have you ever seen America that meme where it's like, imagine spending all your life training hard only to lose to some orange guy, and then it's Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z next to Hillary Clinton? I <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. cool. You hurt me, but going back to the indictments because that's right. what's really important. Have you ever spoken to Bernie about that? No, no. You don't I mean, talk to him. I don't talk to him. Yeah, I mean, we did. When he finally endorsed me and all that. And but you're finally a go fuck yourself. Yeah, he did it literally day one. I, I don't know about you, but I lost a lot of respect for Bernie the moment he did that. Just bent the knee to Shillery. 
It's yeah, like, well, yeah, loosen, yeah. loosen. It's the lesser of two evils. It's like, well, no, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not even sure about that, honestly. I, I, I don't hold it against him, but it does make me uncomfortable that he did it. Uh, although, to be fair, though, I, I think that was like strategically probably uh, the, the the wisest move. But that being said, it, it though, was I, I, in my opinion. I, I, I do I do think that he, he should have still stand st- stood up to her and, and called them out, and he should have you know run as a third candidate as an independent. Like he he would definitely not win that way, but he would no. take even more votes away from her and humiliate her even more. You know, and that would have been fucking amazing. I think I think what he was trying to avoid was being the scapegoat for that election so he could run again this time. But he still it, is. Yeah. People still view him as such. Yeah, but uh, I yeah, think but, his concern is that more people would have seen it that way. Yeah, but but the, the thing is, like, Bernie is way more popular than Hillary has ever been at any point, you yep. know. And when you look at his policies, like, they're overwhelming, overwhelmingly fucking popular. Uh, even I, I think, like, even in a very conservative state such as... Uh, Texas, like 57% still supports his plan, you know, for Medicare for all and stuff. So, look, I, I wish Bernie the best. I really hope that the DNC doesn't fucking screw him over this time like we did last time. I, I think it's a possibility, though, definitely. But, uh, no, I, I really hope that they don't. And I really hope Here's- that he becomes fucking president. Even after everything that happened in 2016, I would still have perhaps maybe like a, a tiny, tiny modicum of respect for this woman if, if she at least conceded that she was wrong, but she can't even do that. And the thing Why is, like, am even I not after. 50 points ahead, you may ask. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. God, we the gotta Russian. get some uh, Hillary sound bites. We gotta get that. Pokemon, go to the polls! Ugh, God. And people wonder why she lost. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, and the funny I thing is too, like are. after after Bernie bent the fucking knee, she went on to be smug about it too, like not grateful or or appreciative no. of that gesture. No. But instead, it's like this utmost arrogance where it's like, "How's it going, Bernie Bros?" <laughs> like who the fuck, who the fucking like Bernie's she- camp honestly looks at that and goes like, "Oh yeah, that's a a better option than not voting." I mm-hmm. like I like how she comes back around at this special time time of year, just like the fucking Grinch. It's really fitting that you put that picture there. Um, You're a mean one, fuck, Hillary. Yeah, just to fuck with people and dash their mood and just take another shit on Bernie when he's trying to do what she was unable to do, which is you know beat Trump in an election. He at least has a fucking chance, unlike this dumb broad. I I, I just think it's 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 wonderful how you put the you know the the Grinch on the left and Hillary yeah. on the right. Here's the thing, though. I'd rather fuck the Grinch. I, I wonder how many people got that joke. The thing is, though, it, it is funny for another reason, though, because uh, deep down, Hillary is, is green as well. Everyone knows that she's a fucking reptilian. With envy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that too. Disappointed. Okay. okay. So, and, and I hope he doesn't do it again to whoever gets the nomination. Right. Once is enough. <laughs> Not even a, a shred of appreciation for anything he did. Just like, no, no, he didn't no, do no, it soon no, enough, no, and when no, he did, no, you know, no, it's like, okay, listen, well, I expected listen, that. Listen, listen, listen. listen. My, my name is Bill Clinton, and my, <laughs> my wife is, a, is an amazing uh, reptilian, uh, s- sorry, I mean human being. And, like, she she is very grateful, you know, and she, she keeps telling me every single day, this is how grateful she is, okay? She keeps telling me every day, thank God you're going to die one day, all right? So <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about, okay? I did smoke right, marijuana, Bill. but I did not <laughs> inhale. That That's probably the best thing that he's ever said. Yeah. We have, yes, to, yeah, things are very we have to join right now. forces yes. and, you know, people could speculate and and have some good reason to speculate about how bad it might be with uh, Trump in the White House. <laughs> now we know there's no guesswork. We know. Right. And, and we know that given his personality and his 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 rage um, against anyone who questions like him, Lord oh, knows wow. what he might do. Unlike you, that's so, why you're taking holy shit on shit, someone this, who... This is coming was, from Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Do that I even have statement. to explain it? It's Hillary. Like, what else do I have to say? Hillary is saying this. <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm astounded by that. Holy shit. It's not All surprising right, well, to me, considering how fake she is, but hey. That's uh, Hillary. How thick she is? All right. Whatever gets you off. I said fake. I said fake. I, oh, I said, you said fake. fake. I, I thought you said, said thick. No. no. Oh my god. No. Uh, dude, did someone donate? Someone donated while we were do while we were away. 
Thank you oh, to shit, whoever donated. You. Well, you know, look, it, it's it's just that this proves that they're still good out One there second. because they're donating to the less fortunate. Man, maybe man. you're like the orange man that's here to defeat us, man. Is this is this hostility dog. coming from me uh, ditching the podcast we did Sunday? <laughs> is that it? <laughs> no, dude, dude, no, 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 no. Look, look, look. No, I, you, you know me. I'm an asshole to everyone. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm an equal opportunity asshole. You know. Me too. I've I've noticed. <laughs> Should we get into some War Corps bullshit? Oh, yes. please. Oh, God. Look, the, the guy. Oh, my God. I can just imagine. Like, I, <laughs> I, have, I, have this, I have this I have this. idea in my head of how he must smell. He must smell like burnt cheese. <laughs> you know? And, 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 um. Okay. You, okay. You, you, you know how it is. You know how it is when, um, when, uh, you know, you, you've been to the gym. You know, and you go to the fucking, you know, locker room and it smells I like I cannot relate, sweat. but go on. <laughs> what are you no, doing? But, no, but it, it smells really fucking sweaty, yeah, you know, yeah. because all the fucking dudes, you know, I mean, everyone fucking sweats, but but especially guys. And, you know, it also smells like, you know, fucking dirty socks because everybody, everyone... Why are you making me socks. think of this? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm making you think of this because all that, that I'm describing is still not enough to describe what this fucking filthy ass, Poor corpse. Yeah. dirty ass motherfucker must smell like. All right? You're probably right. You're probably right. No, no, no. I, right. I, I know. He's, he's, you he's, know, he's, you he's, smell them yourself. He, he smells, he, he must, look, look. <laughs> he, he, he must smell like the collective of 4chan. So what you're right? saying is that his smell pervades through the internet and you can smell it even though you're not around. Yes, I, I can practically smell the fucking, you know, beard crumbs that are old and moldy oh, in his fucking God. beard, you know, and hair and shit. Well, what's left of his hair? You know? Dude, I bet, his, I bet his room's full of, like, 50 fucking bottles of empty beer that he's just never gonna put in the fucking Budweiser, recycling. too. Yeah, 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 not even good beer, like, shitty beer. What, what I find funny is that this right. man thinks that he is in any kind of capacity to give people advice. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, well, so this, I mean, it's yeah, a good thing you ask, because, uh... This is the broadcast he did where Animancer and I jumped in, uh, uh -huh. and it was deleted shortly after. So I'm going to skip ahead a bit. Yeah. Mm, this is me recording odd. my screen after I noticed that it vanished from his uh, video page. And I was just kind of like, ah, right. oh, I wonder if I'm, I'm going to get an error message if I just keep playing this video since it's now uh, ostensibly deleted. So we're going to skip ahead a bit. See War Corps there talking a bit. Having what the a, fuck was that? What? Oh, that's uh, his backdrop. So I'm just skipping so ahead a bit. He's into? Okay. And there you go, video unavailable, huh? And then it's gone from his fucking video page. Interesting that. And this oh, is after we showed up and tore him a new asshole. So do you oh, want to talk the about... the first episode uh, of his own podcast, by the way. Yeah, yeah the Dave Norall Show, episode one. So um, do you want to talk a bit about why we showed up, Animancer? Yeah, um, so I'm pretty sure that we just, were, we just showed up in the chat as we usually do just to like, kind of like, you know, mess with him because every once in a while I'll just send you a link to one of War Corpse's streams and be like, hey, look, he's getting drunk and being an idiot. And then we'll just, you know, we'll comment in the live chat and make some comments at him and sometimes he'll respond. And, uh, you know, we, we had some back and forths like we were... I don't even know if we were really having an argument, so we were just kind of playing around with him because we, we could tell that he was fucking shit-faced, and that's what we yeah. tend to do. And he, uh, he invited us on to talk to him. He invited us on to talk to him, correct? Like, yes. th there's, let there be no confusion about that. I mean, he, he basically us challenged us to show up and argue, have, have a debate with him, and we yeah. could never agree on what we should debate. That was the thing. We would never agree yeah. on that. Because he, he's like, oh, well, you know, fuck that. And eventually, you know, we got to the point where it's like, okay, you're obviously shit-faced, we're not gonna have a debate with you, because you're not coherent, so we're just gonna keep fucking with you. And for an hour, that went on. Uh, and eventually, he wrapped up the show, ended the broadcast, and uh, deleted the video, so episode one, gone. Lo and behold, look at this! Dave Nordahl show, episode one! But no me and Swaita! Yeah, and, and it's a completely different uh, set of... Articles he's looking at, he he's it's got. It's not even the same on. shirt. It wasn't even broadcasted on the same day. That's kind of interesting. It's interesting how like when we show up and tear you a new asshole, you take down this video and pretend as though it never existed. Y you know the the broadcast where you said you would slit my throat if you ever saw me in person, War Corpse. Yeah, yeah, you take down that video, and then you just redo it. Just like there's no trace of it left. You know, except for uh, the recording I have and uh, the people who saw it. So. There's that. So we're gonna we're gonna play a video that he uploaded after the broadcast, a video that he also took down at the same time he took down the broadcast. 
So not only do we have a recording of the initial broadcast, we also have uh, an addendum that he made to that. So I'm going to go yeah. ahead and cue that up and uh, we'll have a look at it because it's, it's interesting. That were with me during the last debate. Oh um, yeah, it was a shit show. <laughs> yeah, even here it is. It was a debate. Pause this real I fast. didn't fucking ask for. I just want to bring this up because I just remembered this and I, I would be remiss if I did not bring this up. But during that, um, you know, during that conversation that we had, I asked him about the whole 9-11 thing because I was genuinely curious if he thought, you know, that if people should be able to make jokes. Okay, so, about so let me just provide some quick context for that. So I have a friend named Mick um, who War Corpse has had a, a back and forth with, with for a while, or he had at the time. This is back in like 2017 or so. And so... Mick made a video making fun of 9-11 or some shit like that. He took, like, red-letter media footage of the cast of that show laughing. Uh, and he juxtaposed it to, you know, the Twin Towers going down, which, putting aside how you may feel about that, does it have anything to do with me? <laughs> no, of no. course not. No. I had fuck all to do with that. And he refused to debate me because of that. And so he requested that I do a video where I condemn Mick calling his phone, which is something that Mick did, too. And so I made the video, it's up on my channel, it may be gone now that YouTube is cracking down on uh, harassment, which it doesn't qualify as, but whatever. Um, so I did as he asked, you know, I was like, alright, well I condemn this thing that Mick did, let's have a debate. And uh, we did. And ever since then, I don't know why, but he keeps confusing Animancer with Mick. They're c complete opposite. Mick is like this tall, uh, ginger Swede. And Animancer, I don't know how tall you are, but... I'm a you fucking know, midget. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Um, Animancer asked him, like, hey, you know, what, what did you ask him? Something about, like, the making fun I, of 9-11. No, no. I, I asked him, and I asked him in a very calm manner. I don't think I was, like, uh, aggressive with this uh, on any level. I was like, hey, uh, no. I, I recall that you had that I recall that you had that debate with, with Swagta where you guys talked about the whole 9-11 jokes thing. I, as an American, wanted to have a conversation with you about that because one of the things that he kept bringing up is that you couldn't have an opinion on that 9-11 joke thing because you weren't an American. So yeah. every, the, the entire time through that debate, I was thinking to myself, like, if I ever talk to War Corpse again, I, I really want to ask him that. So I did. And he instantly thought that I was the autistic atheist, that guy, that guy, Mick. <laughs> he, he thought I yeah. was him. He was like, you son of a bitch. And then he, like, turned to, to me and was like, you know, if I ever see you in person, I'm going to slit your fucking throat. And I'm like, all right, wow. rock, rock on, why? Rock on, quite, yeah. Quite, uh, quite the charmer. Yeah. And so, like, I wonder why he took this broadcast down. Hmm. God. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, that's uh, a bit of context. That there's way more to it. I mean, like, we made fun of him for an, over an hour. So, there's a lot of it that's, you know, lost now, unless War Corpse has it backed up, which I don't think he has. Or I didn't fucking request. I didn't fucking beg for. It was a debate thrust upon me. And it was not I, a debate. It was us making fun of you. I held my own. But a lot of people have been asking me, why the fuck do I do this in the first place? Why the fuck do I not just refuse debates? Well, well, actually, you do. You you, you uh, try to worm your way out of it when, when I challenged you. You wanted me to, like, condemn something that somebody else did as though that's my fucking responsibility. That was, like, the, the one condition you had. And ever since then, you've tried to find ways to worm your way out of it. Yep. So... Uh, I challenged War Corpse to a debate, too, um, on Donald Trump, and he agreed <laughs> to it, and I've yet to, um, I I've gone into his streams quite a few times to be like, hey, War Corpse, when am I getting that debate? And I don't hear back from him, and I'm like, oh, man, does he still think I'm that guy Mick? <laughs> God damn it, man. Yeah, I, th I, I think he does. This little tune here might oh, yeah. actually, um, say why I, why I, why uh. I Yes. Um. Yes. Use debate. Okay. Cool. And I don't. So I, I cut out the song because you know YouTube. So we're just gonna yeah. look at a. You know, like he pauses it on occasion and adds something to it. So we're just gonna have a look at that. Give a damn if you think Swike to won the debate or Swike to his buddy won the debate or I did. I really don't give a damn. I Wh also love. Which is why you took it down. The, the fact that whenever I'm sober on this platform, Swike is nowhere to be found. It's because you're constantly fucking shit faced. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Like, is, there, is there any. Like, as soon as you go live and you're just sober as can be, send me a message. I'll hop in. 
but Man, as it, it stands, it's kind of difficult to to like find a a space and time where like I can I'm like oh yeah he's he he has all his mental faculties in check now's the time it just hasn't happened yet. I don't think he, he has usually it, yeah. waits till I'm drunk. Yes, that's what you know, I mean. You're, always, guys, you're guys, always drunk though. We don't guys, have to wait very long. You gotta understand. You gotta understand. This guy has not had his big break yet. One of the one of these days, though, he's gonna have the worst fissure in his asshole ever. That's gonna be his big break. Uh, actually, uh, speaking of uh, big breaks, this no, is no, 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 no. Uh, listen, 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 listen. You gotta understand something. You gotta understand <laughs> something about this man. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't have a cyst. He okay. is a cyst. Beat my ass when I'm sober. What about what about the time I challenged you to a debate and we set a point in time and you showed up and then got progressively more drunk? Like, th does that not count? No, right. that, that, well, that, that, that's just his uh, medicine to continue existing. <laughs> he kept insulting people in the chat. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, your chat's full of a bunch of fucking dimwits. What dude, do you expect? Uh, dude, we're making fun of War Corpse, man. Like, he, it's, you know how we drink water to sustain our existence? Well, he just has to drink <laughs> alcohol, dude. No, Budweiser. It's uh, not even alcohol. It's not even... Yeah, you're right. That's uh, not alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I refuse to believe that Budweiser is alcohol. It may contain it but I refuse to believe that it's a beverage. <laughs> yeah. And also, I'm looking at this. DJ Scuff, he told me to off myself. It's funny, because, like, I told him to get alive. And so he's like, are you telling me to kill myself? He said this in the chat, and I told him, I, I was like, no, I'm just saying you have no life. <laughs> yeah, you to get yeah. one. And even after that, he's like, he told me to kill myself. No, I mean, no, no, your no, no, audience no, no. is guys, either... Guys, guys, guys. No, l listen, you, you're, you're misunderstanding, okay? You're all right, all right. Thing. All right. All right. So, I, I look... It's it's not that he thinks that you're telling him to kill himself. It's just that that's his way of wishful thinking. Right. Oh, cool. okay. Cool. Well, here's the thing, too. I, I saw this oh, DJ yeah. scuffed guy in the fucking chat. Like, I saw what he was saying. Uh, clearly, just like everybody else who is a regular viewer of War Corpse and a defender of his, he's, they're anti-SJWs. I find it funny how they use this anti-SJW like line of thinking to be like, oh, well, this person said something. I clearly know that they don't mean it this way, but I'm going to interpret it this way because I want to be offended and have something over them. <laughs> People on the left are way too easily offended, and then we show up and we... At, you know, we do what we do. Call war. Yeah, imagine getting ass. offended by someone saying to get a life. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. He, he, oh, he, Jesus he, fucking oh my Christ. God. What the fuck was that? What the fuck just happened? Did you hear that? His God, audio damn. sucks. I mean, you oh, know, your chat is I, fucking. Um, I, I recognize that. I recognize that sound. I, it's a neat I, 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 I heard it. I heard it in a documentary about sperm whales. Oh, God. <laughs> Horrible! Your chat is this. Your chat is that. Like, well, jackass, fight him. Fight him. You're fight you're him? supposed to be my, my superior. Whatever. Am Let's I? Get back to the video. You are. I, I didn't... Dude, I'm not your superior. I just think you suck. No, yeah. I, you know <laughs> they they might have brought it up that they were high. I I don't fucking care. But look, I don't give a shit if somebody's completely sober and somebody's completely drunk. Then, then why point it out? Deal with their damn points. This is why I, I'm, 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 I'm stupid. Much done with oh. this right Unless How many I'm times have you this. fucking said this, man? I'm done. I'm not doing this. And then, like, you know, a few months later, Swike Tug, get in here. Let's have a debate. Yeah. Over. We just have to catch him when he's drunk enough, which is, you know, every other day. You know what? You want to fight me? You fight me. You fight me one on one. Yeah, right. and that, I've I've done that multiple times. That's that's where the leftist fails. That's where the left fails. What is because they I'm know, not left they wing. Understand, they understand. They understand. They underestimate us. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> if you're gonna make this addendum video, like, be coherent. He's drunk. Can you? Can you <laughs> I don't mind drunk. Like, there are plenty of people out there who are eloquent and interesting when they're wasted. Stuff. But, like, when it comes to somebody like War Corps, it's almost impossible. It, it gets to a point where it's just inane ramblings. You're not... I, 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 need, to, I need to correct you there, uh, Swagtab. Okay. You see, okay. It, it, it's not that there's people who are eloquent and then there's War Corps. It's that there are people and then there are War Corps. 
<laughs> so he's like a, a a different species or what? Dude, Sandra has already told us that he's a sperm whale, man. A cum whale. Taking us, motherfucker! And that's the biggest thing with my side. We'd rather die than kneel. I'm just, I'm trying <laughs> to <laughs> Oh my god, what is this fucking Braveheart? Are you fucking kidding me? That's really cringy to me, man. You're taking this a bit Freedom. too fucking serious. Oh, come on to my live streams and want to debate. You want to have a debate with me? Fine. More nappy. You got to say something. Oh, by the way, that me cutting, uh, me like doing the jump cuts there, that's... That's because, like, he, he just, he has moments where he pauses and doesn't realize what he's supposed to say next. Like, there's a buff, <laughs> there's, like, a buffering period b between each syllable, almost. That would you know, be half the I video. Just, yeah. I just, yeah. I, 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 I just imagine, like, that old fucking, you know, dial-up modem fucking sound every time that happens. Oh, yeah. I just made this video to let everyone know I wasn't all pissed off. Uh, and that's where it ends. <laughs> wait, wait, that's him not pissed off? That's yep. him so supposed to be pissed off? Yeah, this is War Corpse <laughs> when he's happy. If, if if you look really closely, because I, I've noticed something about this guy. If you if you look really fucking closely, you know? He uh, sucks. Especially if you look at him sideways, that fucking brow. I'm not even kidding you, like... No, I'm 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 legit not. I'm not even kidding you. Like we, we can actually pull up images and compare. His brow is identical to a Neanderthal's. Okay, oh, here's why Unterhaven no longer exists on Twitch. Exactly. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. All right. Well, War Corpse, fuck you. Uh, come on the show. We'll have a debate. You, I know you have a fetish for debates, so we'll we'll <laughs> we'll comply. Yeah. With where's that. my debate on Donald Trump, War Corpse? Yeah, we're waiting. So, uh, here's something. Uplifting. Steven Anderson. I'm your best friend. As eight-year-old Alyssa LeMay stood in her room, a terrifying voice spoke to her. A terrifying voice. It's like some dork from fucking Slash V or something. I'm your best friend. Oh my god. You got a friend in me. You I'm got a Santa friend Claus. in me. Don't you want to be my best friend? The horrifying sound coming from this ring security camera installed in the child's bedroom, which she shares with her two sisters. I come upstairs and I hear some banging noise. I was like, who is that? For five minutes, the voice taunting the young girl playing strange music. Oh, it's Tiny Tim. Even Holy instructing shit, her to destroy her room. You can mess up your room. You can break your TV. You can do whatever you want. The LeMay family installed the camera just days before the device the was- Wait, this person's family. just trying to, like, inspire general hijinks? Like, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah. I mean, look, I, I have to say this, like, this is just fucking sad. If, if you do this kind of shit to a little girl, like, I mean, what the fuck are you doing with your life? I mean, come on. Like, this isn't even really funny. Like, this is just fucking disturbing. I mean, this is the kind of person where, if he does this shit, I mean, he must probably watch fucking girls, you know, getting undressed and shit. Yeah. I don't know, man. It it just it's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Yeah, it is. I watched the video, and I mean, like, they could watch them sleeping. They could have watched them changing. I mean, they could have seen all kinds of things. This just the latest hack of an in-home security camera. Over the weekend, a Florida family says they were spied on in their living room. Can you bring you like this? Is gonna, like, this type of stuff is going to become more commonplace, like as uh, you know, security cameras and shit become uh, more. Oh yeah, more of course. Prevalent. I mean, like, th there's like a um, there, there are a bunch of playlist video uh, video playlists on YouTube of people fucking with other people's IP cameras. I mean, like, this is not some advanced like cyber hack shit this is there's, there's you know, even a website where you can go and they already have pre-made links yeah here's the thing right like I, I, one thing i do think is weird that i i don't think anyone would think of when they first heard this story is like you, you really shouldn't like be putting like cameras in your children's room as anyway that's pretty creepy no. in my opinion um like that itself is pretty creepy, but um, the fact that this happened is even fucking worse. That the, I I hope those fucking parents realize to get that shit out of there. I hope they aren't just gonna be like, no, it's all right, you know, that won't happen again. Look, if, if you put up a camera outside of your house, that makes sense yeah. because yes. of bur yeah. burglary. Yeah, yeah. But inside the house doesn't make sense. Oh. Maybe if you're like point, have it pointed at your front door, like whatever. But you know, like to have it like in someone's room, that's really creepy in my. Opinion. 
and, and don't have a capacity for sound. That, that, that's just stupid. Did exactly. I tell you? No. And earlier this year no. in Washington State, Stop the, call, then the, camera. the owner of this Nest camera recorded a hacker harassing her family. Oh, so this is they something attacked that's my family. On. Oh yeah, I mean, like I said, there are many videos like this on YouTube where people find ways to, you know, get into like IP cameras and they play songs or uh, horror movie sound effects, shit like that. They just fuck with people, and it's nothing. Like I said, it's nothing. Um, advanced in terms of hacking like usually no. what this is is like you know the the username and, and password is like admin and password and that's it yeah ness did not respond to our request for comment but ring says in the memphis case their security was not breached adding hackers often reuse credentials stolen or leaked from one service on other services to protect your privacy, security experts say you should use a Nord strong VPN. and password. The longer, <laughs> the more secure. Change them often. Dude, I thought it was going to go there. I swear to God. After by the way, this broadcast is brought to you by NordVPN. Nord to ensure a hacker has to work twice as hard to break in. Dude, the moment I saw that, all, all of those sponsorships, I'm like, this is going to get hacked. There's no oh, way yeah. all of these fucking YouTubers, like the, these fucking media or like internet personalities promoting this oh, shit. Oh yeah, NordVPN was hacked, and Nord NordVPN what? didn't a didn't actually tell uh, their own customers about it at first, you know. No. Uh, yeah, and, I'm skeptical and, and, and of anything. Shitty. I'm skeptical shitty. of anything that Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight promotes. Yeah. Yeah. No. no that, being, that being said, that being said, look, a VPN is not a bad thing, but you need to pick the right one, and you need to make sure yeah. that it really sure. is reliable. Yeah. No, but wait, hold on, hold on. This YouTuber told me that it's secure. What are you yeah. talking about, Simon? I mean, you, you should you, you should do something uh, called um, <clears throat> research. research. Yes. yes. But and here's the thing, man. VPN has the best reputation. But here's the thing, man. This guy's pretty based when it comes to taking down those SJWs, so <laughs> I trust his opinion. Oh, yeah. Something the LeMay family admits they did not do. LeMay. I don't know who you are. I'm Santa Claus. This morning, the LeMay family still on edge okay? after the device that was supposed to make them feel safe did anything why would a fucking camera in like your children's bedroom make you feel safe I, I guess it's the fact that if you have a perpetrator that goes in there you can identify them more easily i guess that's that's the thing um but yeah no a, a camera alone isn't gonna fucking do shit you know no. if anything you should do like you know as you said have it on the exterior of the house or maybe by, by the yes. entrance something because, like that yeah then you can identify people going in and out of the house but you don't actually in the, invade any privacy going on going, going exactly. inside the house you know ring has investigated the incident and is taking appropriate action to remove the hackers from the affected account they've also contacted other users wait hold on how <laughs> how are they gonna do that let's make new accounts okay whose accounts may have been compromised. No, they'll get our people so, off, though, right? That creep oh, Jesus, what the fuck is up with people's audio? It's all over the place. The hacker there uh, getting into home security cameras. What about these these other hackers out there and another common home device? Something happened recently. What, what do you know about that? Yeah, just last month, the FBI warned that smart TVs are vulnerable to hackers as well, saying that what? any technology no. features... I thought they were going to talk about, like, the Amazon Echoes. Spy on you in your home. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. They recommend you familiarize yourself with security <laughs> settings, change default passwords, and know how to enable... It. Change default password. That should be, like, a, a top priority in anyone's mind when they buy one of these mm -hmm. fucking things. Speaking of boomers right now. And disable the microphones and cameras on your televisions guys right. a, a television should not have a built-in microphone and camera yeah, that's no, fucking it, weird it should not and, and here's the thing me me and my gf have, have talked about this many times and we will never ever get any kind of fucking thing like the amazon echo or or, or siri and whatever what, what i find fucking hilarious is when it was leaked a while ago that uh both google and amazon use you know their respective fucking uh you know um echo or siri uh, to spy on the people who buy them in their ha in their homes and be actually recorded and not just you know fucking bots but actual fucking human beings listened to their private conversations when that dropped everyone was fucking surprised and i'm like no <laughs> motherfucker like are you fucking dumb of course this is going to happen like like wait yeah. hold on hold on Sandra, you mean to tell me that me letting this huge shady corporation spy on me is gonna lead to them spying on me? No. 
There's no, no way. You know, I mean, that, that's the thing, though. That, that's, people really are that fucking dumb. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, no, fuck you. Like, you should have known that this was happening. And, and look, I'm never going to get a fucking smart house in any fucking way. I'm going to get a fucking ordinary fucking house, okay? And if I want anything that's fucking digital, I am going to install it myself, okay? And I'm not going to fucking rely on anything that's fucking pre-made and shit. And I'm not going to have any kind of smart fucking system, okay? Like, get off your fucking lazy ass, okay? And turn <laughs> off your fucking... Uh, lights on yourself, you, you, your, your fucking self, okay? It's not like you don't fucking need the fucking exercise fucking Sasquatch, okay? Fuck no. So, instead of this fucking thing like, oh, Siri, turn off the lights and blah, blah, blah. No, no, you turn off the fucking lights, okay? You know what it reminds like, me of? Get, get the fucking jello to fucking jiggle a little bit. Come on, get off your fucking ass. Swag, anyway. remember when we played that clip of uh, Rick Wiles talking about government uh, moderation and then he literally, oh, yeah. um, his Siri yeah, we, went off and we he had, was like, uh, oh, there's that silly Siri again. We, we, we had a Jeff Holiday on. This is like one of the early episodes of our show. We had Jeff on and we played this video of Rick Wiles from True News. He was talking about how the, the government and giant corporations spy on you. And in the middle of his rant about that, his fucking phone goes off. And it's like, it's, it's Siri or some shit. He's like, oh, <laughs> never, never mind this. Let me just take care of that. All right, never mind. Back to my point. So the government yep. and corporations are spying on us. It's like, uh, so, okay. So Apple doesn't count. They're just precluded from that. Okay, cool. Oh, but have you guys not seen the fucking, uh, you know, a meme when it comes to the ANCAPs, you know, where uh, this fucking snake, you know, the, the one that's used on the fucking flag, you know, don't, don't, don't tread on me. Um, and it's like, being fucking stepped on by the boots of corporations and all the snake says, well, at least it's not the government. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it, it's fine. like, no, no, you, you people don't fucking understand, okay? It's not just the government you need to be afraid of. It's also big business, okay? Uh, and these companies, wh whether it is a government or, or corporations, they will use any opportunity they have to spy on you. If you give them a fucking finger, they're going to want the hand, okay? Do not give them any fucking chance to fucking spy on you regardless, okay? So, uh, you know... Yeah. And, and this you know, is being said as we're broadcasting on YouTube, mind you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 of course. But that's sort of a necessity, though, isn't it? Sure, but sure. I mean, I, like, I, 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 what, I, I, what you're I, I, saying is are, perfectly fucking valid. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, there are things you can do to stay, you know, anonymous, but also, you know, to prevent fucking people from spying on you. Um, and it's really not that hard. I mean, first of all, don't just fucking live loose with, with your fucking personal details online, okay? Keep that shit fucking restricted, okay? If you have a fucking Facebook profile, okay? If you still have one, okay? Make it so people can't even find your fucking profile, okay? Unless they're already a friend of yours. So, you know... I do agree that people need to take more precautions with that type of shit, yeah. I'm, I'm like, it's not even hard. It's not even hard. It's like, it's like, it's so fucking easy. You just need to know what the fuck to do. But it's really obvious fucking shit. Okay, again, don't leave too much of your personal information online, period. Make it so your, your fucking social media cannot even be found unless, you know, people are already, already friends with you or you... This kind of reminds me of the first time I saw Wally. Because, like, when I saw the fat fucks and Wally, I was just kind of like, eh, it's a bit far-fetched. But now, I don't know. Maybe that film has a point. I feel like that's where we're heading. We're just going to surrender any uh, autonomy we have to, to the government. We're going to surrender that to, to these giant corporations. They're going to spy on us. They're going to know what the fuck we're up to because they do that now as it is. There's oh, no you know, reason for them not to do that. They're financially oh, oh, incentivized oh, 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 oh. heavily to do that. Oh, oh but Swekta, Swekta, don't you know, I save like three seconds when I ask Siri to Google something for me because my chubby ass <laughs> fucking fingers can't fucking do that for me, you know? But, but no, that's the kind of society we live in now, okay? You know, Chub Chub is too fucking lazy, all right, to fucking do anything by themselves, okay? So they have to fucking, uh, yeah, ask a fucking machine to do something that only takes like three seconds to do by hand. And by the way, sure, you're still spied on a little bit, a little bit by by Google if you do it by hand, but not not nearly as much as if you ask Siri. Okay? Yeah. Um. So I, I, again, this is not hard, people. Okay. First of all, get a good fucking password. For any fucking account you have, and don't just so have work. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but get, get get a good password, preferably something that's different for every fucking you know website. And actually, I would say don't change it, you know, every fucking month or something because that, that's a that's a sure way of fucking forgetting it. Instead, make it fucking foolproof. Make it something that's like ridiculously fucking hard to to figure out. Okay, 
Um, and, and preferably something that's at least 24 characters, because if you have something that's 24 characters, like even a supercomputer is going to have to work for fucking years to, to crack it, most likely. Um, but yeah, no, and, and also make it a, you know, different uh, for, for every every site you, you're, you're using, of course. And if you think that's hard to fucking remember, well, motherfucker, ever heard of text files? Have a fucking text file on your computer, okay, where you save your fucking passwords, okay? And what you do is, when you have it on your screen, take a photo on your fucking cell phone, okay? So if your computer fucking crashes for some for some reason, you still have your fucking password there, okay? Or write it down on a fucking piece of note. Yes, you know, this little fucking fibrous thing that's made out of fucking wood, you what? know? Yeah, people, people, people actually still use it, believe it or not, okay? It's amazing, I know. But it's a piece of paper. It doesn't actually require batteries for you to Whoa. write on it. What? You, know? you you take a paper and then you use a pencil. Yes, you know, those archaic things that you, you know, you're forced to use your hand to fucking write something. I know it's crazy. I know. Okay. I haven't heard you, of those things. You write, fucking down, middle school, man. you write down your fucking password there, okay? All the 24 characters, and then you hide it somewhere in your fucking room. And if you happen to forget or your computer crashes or whatever, you have that fail safe, okay? And you always have an analog thing where you can go back to and get your fucking password. But this is what you should do if you're fucking smart. But paper man bad, paper man bad, paper man bad. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, but it, it, again, right. it, it's it's like it's ridiculously simple to stay private on the internet if if if, if you just use common sense. But common sense ain't that fucking common anymore, I guess. Yep, it's uncommon sense. It, it really is. That's the thing the too. The solution like, to our problems uh, is more. No, Bloomberg. Open borders, right. not closed borders. The solution to our problem <laughs> is Look, to guys, improve guys, 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 guys. I, I have to say though, I fucking love the comment section. This guy sounds kind of like a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, wow. yes, boomer. Back in my day, boomer, we had responsibility. Shut up, boomer. I know. I, no, but see, that's the thing though. Like, I actually have to. I actually have to push back a little bit against this meme though, because it's it's gone out of hand. Because look, do you have boomers on, on, online? Of course you fucking do. But no, listen, you little piece of shit. Okay, okay. You you're pretty much a fucking sperm, and I'm sorry, but most people who have lived longer than you do usually know better than you. I'm I'm sorry. Not always, but usually. You usually, yeah, and. That, that doesn't make them a fucking boomer just because they're calling you out for what the fuck you are, you know? It's, it, it's a, just another way. Fucking ar arrogant fucking piece of shit. It's just another way that people, like, try to throw out this term, like, oh, man, you're, like, you're, you're a cuck because you feel this way, or you, you know, like, it's just another one of those fucking labels that people throw out, like, oh, I don't like you, so therefore you're associated with this group. Oh, oh you think you this thing I don't like, so you're a boomer, you know? It's just another one of those words. L listen to this fucking salt in the comment section. That's an appeal to age. No, motherfucker, that's an appeal to experience. That's, that's okay? John Morgan. He's just a troll, man. Don't worry about what he's saying. <laughs> oh, no, I like John I Morgan. I know. Go ahead. Let, let's, okay, let's bummer. Okay, not bummer. Not to try to penalize people because they are successful. Okay, if bummer. If you don't have successful people, you're never going to have the wherewithal to support, to help those who are not. We've tried socialism. It doesn't work. And I'll leave you with a thought. You've tried it when? Whenever when have when you did, tried it, yeah. Yeah. As in, like, we doesn't mean the U.S., because when the fuck did that ever happen? Never. Yeah, right. it's, no. I mean, you know, was clean a water, you know. Socialism. E e ever heard of that? No, 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 no one, no, no. Roads, no, no. That's, that's all run by the private sector. Every, everyone knows that, you know. Yeah, whatever. I, Bernie Sanders, who would have beaten Donald Trump, the polls show he would have walked away with it. But Hillary Clinton got the nomination for a variety of reasons. What did Donald Trump stand for? He stood for something he called it democratic socialism. Wait a and minute. The young Pause people. This. I haven't disagreed with anything you said yet, I don't think. I don't mean to knock young people. I wish I was one again. But young people listened to Donald on, Trump, or to uh, Bernie Sanders, and they said, yeah, democratic. That's good. Socialism. Yeah, all that's right. social media. Um, okay, okay, yeah, he is starting to say st <laughs> stupid stuff now. All right, all right, that's good, that's good. All right. It's that social media stuff. Socialism. It's, I knew it's social he was going to bring it around to this somehow. I was just like, yeah, this guy in a suit and tie is not going to say something actually reasonable. Wait, hold on. You mean to tell me the fucking billionaire who's trying to pay his way onto the debate stage is full of shit? Yeah. 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 What? No, but, no, but see, this is uh, this is funny because um, Bernie is definitely not a fucking socialist. Like he he's a social liberal. Like he's he's center. Social left. Democrat. 
Yeah, no, no. I mean, so social democrat is actually just um, it's actually just a, a, a okay. Social democracy is really more of a movement than an actual ideology in of itself. It's really a, a collective, if you will, of it's a movement consisting of social liberals and socialists. See, this is why I do not bother with political labels at all. Yeah, no, no. I mean, look, me neither. I'm, I'm. Uh, okay, so so whenever I do a political test, I always show up as like a fucking socialist libertarian, you know. But I don't call myself that because labels are fucking dumb, and so are, so are ideologies. I have my opinions, and those are things that I have. The problem with ideologies is that it's trying to make you into what you or, are. Yeah. Yeah. So w whenever someone criticizes your ideology, you will take it personally because you have per because you have actually identified with it. But the way I view it, I have my opinions. It's easier to drop opinions if you view them as things you have rather than things you are. If yeah. you know what I mean. yeah, it's, it's like not, if you want to know what I think about any given issue, just fucking ask me and I'll tell you. I don't need yeah, to be lumped in with some political movement. If I was to call myself like left wing or a socialist, then people would just use that as a straw man when I try to argue with them. Like, uh, yeah. okay, okay. I, I just want to respond to something else here uh, in the uh, in, uh, Sandre in, versus the chat live the, on chat. celebrity um, deathmatch. Uh, okay, okay, so it's Mr. John Morgan again. Okay, so Ben has Asperger's. No, no, he he doesn't. I, I don't think so, dude. I have Asperger's. Okay, I, I I should know, but no, I mean maybe Bernie does have Asperger's. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. Like it's not really that relevant. Um, but um, no. My I mean, ass is full of burgers, and I hold it in contempt. Yes, 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 yes. Eric Cartman, we we get it. Um, but um, no. I mean Asperger's is fucking awesome. J just ask my GF. You know, fuck. She she loves me. Okay. I, I wish I wish I could love everyone else as much as she. She loves, loves me, the burgery ass. She loves. Yes, it. yes. She she, she does. She does. But up, 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 I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's my political cum test. So there you go. Which is, it's it's funny, because it's like, it's left enough to where people think that I'm like SJW libtard, but it's libertarian enough to where they're like, okay, well, you're mo more like a centrist libertarian. So it's like, why do I bother fucking adopting any kind of label when I can just tell people what my opinions are on whatever yep. relevant issue we're discussing then and there? Way more reasonable than just... Re um, Resorting to, you know, whatever closest party I'm with. I will never show anybody my political compass. It's it's private. It's dirty. There's porn on it. Stop. <laughs> because our kids no longer learn civics in school. They no longer study Western history. They no Wait, hold on. They don't? <laughs> no longer read Western literature. We are trying to change and dumb down the system. and By changing and dumbing down how the system is represented? by a billionaire mm -hmm. got it and if you don't know what happened in the past you're gonna have to relive it all right well, you're just saying a bunch of hollow fucking bullshit what are you actually trying to state like I, I've, I've heard him talking this entire time but have i actually heard him make an actual statement other than fear-mongering over the word socialism kids I mean, are dumb it, vote boomer look, look basically his message is this Oh, everything's good the way it is, even though opinion polls show that people don't believe that at all. Hillary message, basically. Yeah, pr pretty yeah, much. Just... And Blo Bloomberg is not going to go anywhere. Like, he has had a surge in the polls, but that's because, like, he's literally outspending everyone else. He yeah, he spent been... $57 million no, 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 on no, no, TV no, no, ads no, no. alone. More, more, more. He, he, at, at this point now, from, from, from the data we have now, uh, it's clear that he has spent, like, 110 million US dollars while Bernie keep in mind Bernie is pretty much even with Biden in the numbers so uh, depending on the poll you you go uh by either Biden or Bernie is leading but it's it's fair to say that Bernie is at least at a at a very fucking close second place now okay very close and sure. he has spent in total so far okay 25 million dollars so compare now you have this rich fuck who spends you know uh, almost fucking five times more than Bernie, okay? All at once, he makes a little bit of a surge, but Bernie, throughout his entire campaign so far, has only spent $25 million in TV ads, okay? That, that, that's a fifth of what this fucking guy has spent, pretty much. Because Bernie's like a fucking rock star, and nobody gives a shit about this old froppy fuck. A exactly, but that's the thing. In order for him to even be able to compete... With, with Bernie and his fucking actual popu popular fucking, you know, uh, uh, reforms, um, he, he has to fucking outspend them by far. 
And look, even if he goes fucking broke, he's not going to fucking win. I, I don't think people need to worry too much about fucking Bloomberg. Um, no, but, but but and thank God, because Bloomberg would be a fucking disaster. Because, look, I'm so fucking sick and tired of his fucking bullshit. Like, you got to pull yourself up by a bootstrap, you know? It's funny because yeah, like, the etymology of that word, it, it comes from an expression where it's like, you have to do this thing that is physically impossible. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's true. I never thought of that, but yeah, it literally is physically Yeah, but it, it just became like the expression coming from smug assholes who are like, well, oh, you have it rough? Well, you know, tough shit. Just get look, by. Look, son, son, listen to me, okay? I took a small loan of a million dollars, okay? Uh -huh. I don't know what struggle is. You don't. Okay, boomer. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I That's about, uh, that, that summarizes the discussion we're having right now. Yep. In my yeah. view. No, I, and look, let, let me just make this clear, okay? I'm yeah. not against people being wealthy. However, I actually have this fucking idea. It's crazy, I know. But I think people actually have to earn their wealth. If you're a doctor, it makes perfect sense that, you, that you're going to get a good paycheck. Because, one, you've studied your fucking ass off for years upon years into becoming a doctor. And as a doctor, you have a huge responsibility. You also have to deal with a lot of sad things like oh, loss no. of life and whatever. So it makes sense that as a doctor, you know, and you also have, have an invaluable fucking service to society. So a doctor earning a really fucking oh, paycheck, that makes perfect sense, okay? Uh, it doesn't make sense though, that just because you know how to fucking, you know, exchange currencies on a fucking archaic, you know, an abstract fucking market, that you earn a bunch of fucking money. And I look, call me communist if you want. Okay, now I'm, I'm sure some people will unironically do so. You need to it. shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure Pendulet. Um, yeah. You know, uh, but um, no, I uh, no, that, that's that's what I think, and I think like that's just pure fucking logic going on here. Um, I don't think I, I legitimately don't think that just because you, you know, move money from one bank account to another and you're really good at it. I don't think you should earn more than a doctor. I, I, I just don't, you know, call me crazy, but I, I just fucking don't. Um, and I do think there should be an earnings gap. Uh, so sorry, uh, er, earning stop. I think that uh, after a certain amount, I don't even think you should be able to earn more. The and limit I'm, on the wealth? Yeah, I, 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 I'm serious. And here's the thing, um, because think about it. I don't think that's when, unreasonable. When, when, you, when you have these people who are ultra fucking wealthy, and I'm talking about the fucking billionaires here, okay? So when you have people who are so fucking wealthy, they're actually a stopgap in the economy, okay? They are basically a hindrance for money flowing. Now, how do I know this? <clears throat> it's, it's quite simple. They hoard it? They wouldn't be so fucking wealthy in the first place if they actually did what a lot of these defenders of these billionaires are, are saying that they do. If they really spent the money back into the system, they wouldn't be so fucking wealthy now, would they? They're not making jobs like people think they are. Like, no, no, that's, no, that's, exactly. that's one thing people always say, right? Dude, it kind of reminds me of a, a conversation I had with this uh, streamer. I'm not going to name him because I don't know how he feels about that. But he basically defended uh, Amazon closing all of these stores and paying nothing in taxes by saying, okay, well, they create jobs. It's like, okay, well, for how long? They're automating away that shit. Yeah, yeah like, so as it is, they create so many fucking jobs when they get a fucking poor Chinese person to do your job, you know. Yeah, yeah, or break, break the backs of hardworking Americans and then fuck them over when they apply for any kind of assistance. Or how about this? You know, just automating away employment. That's exactly. their primary concern right now. So for how long are they going to do that? Uh, look, I don't have a problem with giant companies giving people employment, but they're not going to do that for long. There's no incentive for them to do that. Yeah. Now, now to, to be to be fair, though, I, I don't think automation is going to be as much of a problem as, as some people make it out to be, because I, I've looked a lot into this topic. And, and if you ask, you know, actual fucking uh, experts when it comes to research of AI, as well as, you know, ro robotics experts and whatever, uh, the vast majority of them are saying that, no, this is kind of overblown. Yang, for instance, is exaggerating, ra raging like fucking crazy. Now, will automation... Um, make a lot of jobs disappear, sure. But it's not going to be as fucking bad as people make it out to be. Again, I cannot stress this enough, okay? It's just fucking logic. Think about it. You cannot have people who are so fucking wealthy, okay, if it wasn't for the fact that they're hoarding money. If the money really did go back into the fucking system, they wouldn't be so fucking wealthy to begin with. This is undeniable, okay? Anyone who's taken a fucking math, math fucking course 
will realize that this is the case. You cannot, by definition, have people who are ultra fucking wealthy but without having people who are unnecessarily poor. That is just the state of things. And yeah. just simply pointing that out does not make you a fucking commie, okay? It just means that, you, means that you have a fucking brain and you know how to fucking use it. Now, again, like I said, I am not against people having wealth, okay? Some professions deserve a really good pay, okay? Again, being a doctor, okay? That, that's, that's, what, that's one occupation. If you fucking clean sewers, you know, which is not a very fucking attractive job, also really fucking dangerous. If, if you earn fucking, you know, uh, like 200 fucking thousand dollars every year because of that, good fucking riddance. I, I think you fucking deserve it. Or in my case, I'm, I'm, I'm studying to be, a, you know, a fucking chemist. I've, I've had to spend fucking years j just so far, you know, working my fucking ass off. Yeah. Being where I am. And when I'm done, I'm actually going to do a fucking societal service. I'm actually going to promote, you know, the cause of science, you know, drive research and whatever. Okay. Even now. I'm actually working to support myself, okay? That's awesome. Yes, I'm working to support myself. I'm not even taking any fucking, uh, you know, handouts or anything whatsoever because I, I want to be self-reliant, you know, whatever. So I'm actually doing that fucking pull yourself up by your bootstraps thing, but that's only because I'm, I already have the means to be in this situation to begin with. Had I, you know, fucking lived in the States right now, okay? By the way, everyone, uh, you know, I, I actually live in Sweden, okay? Um, so you're a communist, is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you mean Muslim? Yeah, um, I, yeah, I do. I either pull out the communist or the Muslim thing on Swag yeah, whenever yeah. he's late. But I, I, I just, I kind of, I want to bring it back to like the the whole uh, automation thing, if that's cool. Sure. So, so like, we know that the, like the most, a lot of the most common jobs in the U.S. are going to be gone over time. Like we know that. For instance, a truck driver, it's the most common job in, I think, 29 states. That's now being automated. automated, And uh, it even applies to Sweden. I mean, like, you know, I have a friend who wanted to become a truck driver, and, you know, he, he took a look at that, applied for the education, got denied, uh, did some research and found out that, you know, that they're, at least from what I heard from him, coming from him, what they're basically doing now is, like, increasingly having fewer truck drivers and more AI driven trucks that basically follow the driving patterns of the, the driver in front. So they can make multiple deliveries with one employee, basically. Uh, with like huge efficiency. That's what they're trying to do. Make it efficient. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I mean like, you know, I, I, when you say that it's overblown, I mean like, yeah, some people do that, but I mean like to, to what degree, like, what are we talking about? Like, do you think it's going to have a detrimental effect on the job market because yeah I, I, always, think I, I always hear people bring up examples well you know there's been automated cars that have gotten into car crashes before and i'm like you think that's going to stop these companies you know who else gets in car crashes people what about human error that's a very common thing i mean it's going to happen eventually and this technology even though it's not perfect right now it's going to get better and better especially like <laughs> these big corporations you think that when they want to fund something and make it happen that they can't make it happen that's the only thing that they make happen anything else relating to human progress they don't give a shit about but if it can make their bottom line a little bit better then they'll do it and they'll invest the money into it to make it happen. Mm -hmm. i mean I, I, again I, I i don't think automation is going to be as bad as make as people make it out to be now, will some professions uh, go the way of the dodo? Sure, that's that's undeniable. But I no, it's it's not going to be as bad as people make it out to be. But here's the thing: uh, uh, if I can just fucking take, I mean, I've I've already taken a dump on a bunch of fucking people. Might as well do it to Yang as well. Um, oh, so, 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 sorry, Yang Gang. I'm, I'm I, I have to. I, I think he's a, an interesting guy. I think he has some really good ideas, but he needs to fucking stop with the fucking fear mongering. Okay, and also here's the thing. Uh, there's a very sim simple solution. Uh, instead of doing this fucking universal basic income stuff, and, and by the way, that's another thing that's fucking driving me fucking crazy when it comes to this, because uh, a lot of people fucking start reing, you know, whenever I mention this, like, re But uh, no, there's actually very little evidence of universal basic income even being really implemented. And then people do, like, stupid shit, like they send me fucking links to fucking studies of like tax returns and stuff or where they give like homeless people like one-time payments and it's like well no shit people are gonna fucking you know do well if you do well, that 
I, if, I mean, there, if, there you is... people, if, if you have people who are fucking destitute and you give them any kind of money, yeah, of course you're going to see fucking positive sure. results, okay? And also in, in, in Canada and whatever, as well as in Alaska, we have like a system where... Yes, yeah, uh, I was going to bring have, that up. Have, 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 have like a huge fucking tax return. That's a one-time fucking payment, you know? We're talking about something that you're supposed to get every fucking month, and it's going to be a much larger sum over time. Now, that, that being said, look, I'm not, I'm not knocking universal basic income necessarily, but here's the thing. I have a smarter fucking solution. And I think this is like a no-brainer, okay? Okay. If automation really is as bad as as he says it is, okay, instead of a Band-Aid, which would be universal basic income, how about we actually fix the under, underlying problem, which would be, you know, the the following uh, unemployment? We simply share the jobs, okay? So implement a six-hour workday, and voila, 25% more jobs open up. I'm a so you're talking about like like – create jobs and then um raise the minimum wage right yes why not wouldn't it be just uh, why uh, so what uh, kind uh, of jobs would would that be though yeah like that's the thing like i i wouldn't it just be easier to make these big corporations pay their fair share no no than, no no, no. Listen, listen listen guys you do realize that literally overnight this has already happened once just read history okay did you realize that overnight, literally overnight, entire nations went from a 12-hour workday to an 8-hour workday? We're talking about an 8-hour workday going over to a 6-hour workday, and it doesn't even need to happen overnight like it did before, okay? Then we, we're talking about a difference of 4 hours. Now we're only talking about 2, okay? But what I'm saying is you can easily go from an 8-hour workday as a standard to a 6-hour workday you can spread it all out over years. So every year you decrease it by like, let's say a half an hour, okay? And then over four years, you've gone from an eight hour workday as a standard to a six hour workday, okay? And over time, you're gonna open up way more fucking jobs, okay? But and, here's the thing, right? But, uh, automation is just going to over time affect more and more jobs. Like no, more no, no, and more dude, jobs dude, are gonna I'm, be I'm, eliminated. I'm, I'm sorry, but this idea that fucking every fucking job is gonna fucking disappear. No, no one's saying that like every job. We're talking about every jobs. Job. Most jobs are not gonna be affected by automation, and I'm gonna explain to you why. Okay, there's right. actually a very a very interesting paper. I can't remember its fucking name now, but basically, several militaries around the world has actually done research on this topic. And here's why automation, even if the technology were to get that fucking advanced, although I, I really don't think that's going to happen either for practical and economic reasons. Um, but even if it were to happen, the technology got that fucking good where it could, you know, replace most human labor, whatever it was. It's not going to happen anyway because the military is not going to agree to it. And here's why. If you automize too much in a, in a society, you're literally a sitting duck. Like, do you realize how fucking dangerous that would be? This is not me saying this. This is the fucking Pentagon, okay? They know they know their thing or two or, or about public fucking safety. Um, if you have a society that's too fucking automized, okay, any cyber attack by any terrorist group could fucking make an entire fucking part of the U.S., for instance, go limp, okay? The government will do whatever the big corporations want. No, there is a... Yeah, there is you know, a no, they will. They will. I, they will. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. There is a limit to what any fucking no limit. no there actually no, no, no. isn't no. we're not we're not even talking about listen we're not even talking about just the regular fucking government we're talking about the military here okay and the world's militaries will not stand for a, an automation that goes too fucking far because they realize just how ridiculously fucking dangerous okay but how far I, is I think too by far? the time like, that they try like, by, by the time anyone tries to resist it it'll be fucking too late to what point. extent are it'll we it'll be too are we much talking part about? of our society they're putting fluoride in the water ah yeah what extent are are we talking about? How is too far? Oh, uh, basically, I mean, the thing is, to some degree, to some degree, in some areas, we're already a little bit too close to that uh, limit. And uh, there are a couple of nations where uh, the military leaders, generals, have actually talked and talked to uh, the world's leaders about how dangerous it is already. And there, there's actually a, a couple of uh, projects that's actually been halted thanks to this now. Because believe it or not, the government does listen to the military. They, it, they pretty much fucking have to. Okay, it, it, if you don't listen to your military, you're not going to last very long as a fucking nation. Period. Okay, that's just the way it is. So even if the technology was there to just fucking replace all human labor, it's not. By the way, it's never going to be. And I'm, I can explain that later if you want. But again, we're not but, talking about all human labor. We're talking about 
a, a lot of common no, no, jobs. No, but e e even, even most jobs are not going to be impacted by automation. Okay, it's it's just not. We're talking like I, I think in the worst case scenario. I just want to clarify that I, I don't think most jobs or all jobs are going to be affected. I think a no, huge no, no. chunk of them, but I'm not going to say most. Yeah, yeah. I, I would I would say this. I I'm talking about like repetitive labor or like, you know, um, sure, 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 sure. filing I, and I, shit I, like I that and yeah. dry I only, delivery. I think only and, creative and based jobs will be a thing once all is said and done. I think that I'm not no, going to go. No. I'm not going to go that far, but I, I, I think, think I think so. so. The, the, so. there, there's also other reasons. Like I haven't even mentioned all of them. I'm, I'm just talking from a security standpoint here, you know, sure. as to why automation is not going to be as big. But then we also have, uh, you know, we can go to my next point, which is uh, psychological aspects. Here's the thing. People need to talk to people, okay? Uh, there's a reason why some companies have started to go back to humans talking to you on a fucking phone when you call for, you know, support instead of this automized bullshit that was popular, I you mean, know. And it isn't computer. perfect technology. It's fucking no, worthless no, 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 technology. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. It's not that. People know if they fu they're fucking talking to a machine, okay? Yeah. And if, I, if I don't they, know if they're going to know they that talk. in like 10 years. No, no, I mean, listen, have you, have listen, you seen the, the Google Voice demo that they showed like a few months ago? Yeah, the, the, the shit that's pre-programmed. Pre uh, pre yeah, I know. It's, it's the same thing with the fucking videos that people show from Boston Dynamics. You know, there was this video and everyone freaked out like, oh my God, it's a bi bipedal robot and it's moving like a Terminator. Oh my God, we're doomed. No, they have already pre-programmed all of its movements. It can't move like that by itself. It's not, it's not fucking able to do that. But that's how fucking limited robotics is these days. Every single movement you see them do, it looks impressive, but li they literally had to spend like 200 fucking hours programming every single fucking movement because the machine isn't on its own intelligent enough yet to be able to do that shit, okay? It has to be pre-programmed. So I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, okay? The technology is not nearly as far as you guys seem to think, all right? But anyway, people know when they're talking to a machine, okay? People need to talk to a person, okay? They need to understand that they're talking to a fucking human being. Otherwise, people go fucking crazy, and understandably so. There's a psychological aspect to this. We already know, actually. Uh, you know when smartphones came out, uh, and they, they started to be really popular around 2010, okay? So we have yeah. almost 10 years now of, of data of what happens psychologically to an entire generation of people uh, when they're too focused on uh, basically looking at a screen instead of looking people in the eye. And we yeah, already they get depressed now, and anxious. Exactly. And we already see now that certain conditions are becoming more common now. And uh, that, that basically basically should be a wake-up call. Um, there's no fucking way in hell. There's no fucking way in hell that a society is even going to last very long if you reduce human contact even further, you know? Now, do I think... I mean, that, we've been heading down that, that listen, direction, listen, listen, though. Li 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 listen, do I think that uh, human interaction for the next 10 years is going to decrease even further because of, you know, the inertia effect, basically... Uh, we discover 10 years later that there's a problem and it takes like 10 years more for, to actually fix the problem. Yeah. But eventually, I mean, you're already starting to see people actually starting to take this seriously now where they say, you know what, me, when, when we meet, you know, uh, meet me and my friends, you know, we, we force ourselves to basically lock away our phones and we just fucking talk and look each other in the eye. And that's already happening on, on a conscious level in society in general, which which is a very good thing. But you're already seeing you know, uh, the, the, the fruit from the seed that was planted about 10 years ago when it came to people's mental health, okay? Technology has already made people less social in, in, in one sense. It has made people more social in the sense that, you know, you can, com com you can communi uh, communicate to other people, okay? But that's it. Technology can be very useful. And I think automation is going to continue in the sense that it's going to allow you to communicate more efficiently, efficiently to other people, but that's the thing—you're talking to a person, you know. Uh, so that's a different story. When we're—I mean, that's about that's not automation, though. That's just technology, and and we're talking about jobs, not you know people's social. No, no, interactions. no, 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 no. I, 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 I know that. I know that. But the idea that you're ever going to be able to fucking replace every single waiter in every single restaurant. With sure, a, like no one here has said that. So I just want no, to no, clarify no, no. that. I, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, 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 you kind of did. Uh, but I, I know that swag test. Excluding creative work, though. But that's fine. 
Uh, someone um, else brought something up really good in the chat. They yeah. said that I, they said that they mostly agreed with me, but that there would also be need need to be people who like do the maintenance for that. And I I do I agree yeah. with that. Yeah, but, so here, here's the thing: like there are jobs point. you this cannot this possibly point. replace, like no, no, plumbing. No, 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 but listen, that's my third point actually. Uh, point actually, because we've actually been at this point before. Like people don't realize, but when they're talking about a lot of these professions that are you know supposedly going to be in danger of being automized. Uh, due to te technology, what they don't realize is what they would realize rather if they just did some research research on this is that the te the technology to replace uh, people in these professions have actually existed already for decades. Believe it or not, uh, if we look at the fast food industry, okay, Burger King. I, I even made a video about this recently. Uh, I made a video called "Debunked." Um, the fifteen dollar minimum wage is going to cause automation, and it basically. Basically, I debunk the idea that a fifteen dollar minimum wage is going to fucking cause automation. You know, I mean, it's a bullshit argument for them to yeah, make because yeah, 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 it's yeah, going to yeah. happen either way. Yeah, yeah. But, but the thing is, Burger King actually in the late eighties uh, already thought about replacing all of their kitchen staff uh, with machines to do the labor. Okay, um, but uh, they actually developed uh, really. Uh, they actually got really far in development. Like they already had uh, developed machines to actually fucking put the buns on the fucking burger, you know, fry the burgers, uh, fry the fries, you know, do all kinds of things, like very yeah. little left for any person to right. do. I think, I think if their plan actually went through, you would have like one person in, in the, in the kitchen staff. That's it. The, the rest would be machines. Okay. Yeah. So it would be an entirely automized, essentially uh, service in, in, in the kitchen. Uh, so Burger King developed this and they had working prototypes and it was looking good on paper already in the 80s okay so this idea that uh the, it's been the, around the for a long time and it's been attempted exactly in the past. And, and automation ha still hasn't fucking uh, destroyed jobs in those professions and here's why okay because it turns out it's actually really fucking expensive to have machines and it's actually more expensive in a lot of professions than to have people and it's not because the technology is not advanced enough it's because it's an inherent property of machines. People don't realize this. In a machine, you have precious metals, for instance, okay? But shit wears down. There's something called entropy, okay? And in order to make a machine continue working, it needs maintenance. People need special training to do that because, yes, you're going to let a fucking person, you know, and not a fucking other machine to do that. Um, and then all of a sudden, oh, you have another hidden cost that you didn't realize before. And Burger King pretty much scrapped their idea for an automated kitchen staff uh, because of that reason. It turns out that it's actually cheaper to just fucking keep people in the kitchen, you know? In the okay, well, let's take it one example at a time because, I mean, like, you're, you're mentioning a lot of things, so let's just talk about one instance at a time, yeah. right? So when we're talking about, like, long-term, like, do you, do you think that it's more profitable to um, have a, a machine repeatedly do a task or have a, a team of people or even just, you know, one person do that task because I mean, like you know, people have more needs than machines do. Yeah, there's also we're, the human we're talking, error. We're talking about healthcare, human error, and the fact that you know pe people join unions when they become indignant with their employment. I mean, like even yep. a company Robot company like Amazon, Amazon, you know, shows their employees propaganda videos about unions. Oh, so yeah, we, yeah, we know I that know, these companies like they they don't like the, the human aspect of employ uh, employment. Oh, yeah, no, they don't no, like but, that. I mean, uh, t t tough shit because they can't fucking re you know fucking reduce. Uh, humans uh, down to uh, too small of a part of the fucking workforce. Um, and sure, obviously they're gonna have like some kind of human department. I mean, like I'm not yeah, saying no, they have to. again. I'm not saying that like every job is gonna be lost. I'm talking about like you know the the common uh, repetitive labor jobs. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, and again, look, there are some jobs that are gonna be lost to automation. That, that's fucking clear. Um, I can't say exactly which jobs that's gonna be, but. There's a bunch of jobs that I've looked in, into already that already by that logic should be, you know, gone and should be done entirely by machines because the technology is already there in most professions, to be honest. Um, and uh, that's also why I wanted to bring up uh, another example here. Um, like the FBI actually had uh, in the 80s uh, this, uh, this project, if I remember correctly, I think it was in the 80s. Uh, you, you notice like already in the 80s, there were these, uh, these Sure, but technology like, advances a lot over no, no, time, no, no, especially no, no, over the span listen, of three listen, decades, listen, 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 soon listen, to be listen, four decades. Listen, listen, listen. Like I said before, the technology was already there, okay? You can only, only progress that much, okay? Technology can only get that much cheaper. 
technology isn't really that much cheaper today. Okay, the only difference you see in technology is in terms of battery. You know, it, how much charge you you can fucking store, processing power and whatever. But when you have a machine that's doing、uh, fucking manual labor, its processing power doesn't really matter that fucking much. Like what you had in the '80s was more than fucking adequate. Okay, again, Burger King's example is proof of that. Okay, but it turns out that there are costs. Okay, to these machines because they are moving parts. We're not talking about a single chip in a fucking computer. Where you have minimal moving parts, we're talking about something that's supposed to emulate the movements of a human being. It's going to have wear and tear, and that's always going to be the fucking same, no matter what the technology is, because that's just the nature of robotics. And any fucking robotic scientist is going to tell you this. This is fundamental, basic fucking shit.、Um, but anyway,、um, man, I'm too high for this. Yeah, I, yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are、uh, many things that like we have replaced with machinery at this point that you know happened in the '80s or you know earlier than that. No, I mean, look again in in, in the 1980s. Like for instance, like if you need to withdraw some money real quick, you don't go to into a bank and ask a bank teller. You just go to an ATM outside. No, There's no, 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 no need no, to no, have a person no, there. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. There are still fucking bank tellers, though. In fact, there's about as many bank sure, tellers but, but still in employment as there were like fucking fifty years ago, and people yeah, but they're it's they're fun, it's, they're it's a fun、um, statistic that people don't know about because bank tellers do more than just give you cash. Yeah, of course, but I'm just saying that like you know their responsibility and, and honestly, has shifted because of the fact that now we have an alternative to, to that. Yeah, but listen, you need a person as well for legal reason, legal reasons, you know. Uh, to review why you're putting in the money and whatever, okay? That's that's not something that a machine is really going to be able to do、uh, as efficiently.、Um, so a bank teller does more than just fucking give you the fucking cash or whatever. Yeah, I never also, said that. I'm just machine, saying that like machine, if the machine the, the, breaks down, you you still need the bank teller. Yeah, but you don't need a, a bank teller for every machine to ever exist. No, 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 exist. of course not. I mean, but again, just listen. There's almost as many bank teller、uh, tellers、uh, employed, statistically speaking, proportionally speaking, as there were 50 years ago. That's one of the professions that everyone. Yeah, the, the, the point I'm making here is that,、stars. like, you know, the the different options we have thanks to technology has affected the job market and you know the yeah, responsibilities there within. Yeah, but not when it comes to bank tellers. Well, it most、like、certainly it has. Just like it hasn't affected I mean, people working in a fucking fast food joint. I I think it has. I mean, like, if you look at the average bank teller, you know, like in the fucking twenties or so, and compare it to now, I mean, like, the the responsibility are vastly different. Uh, not really. I mean, they still write checks. They still look at your fucking account, you know, or whatever, and see, you know, if your check balances or whatever.、Uh, and again, you know, if the machine breaks down, it's never, not very, very, not very often. But when it does,、uh, does happen,、uh, you, you can tell I'm tired. I've started fucking. Yeah,、uh, when it does happen, they have somebody to check it up or like you know maintain it. Yeah,、um, yeah exactly. The thing is, like you know, you don't need. One of those people for every machine. You just need someone no, who makes no, no, the rounds no, no, no. and, and keeps them in check. That's not what I'm saying. That's that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, nonetheless, you have almost just as many people today working in、uh, as bank tellers as you did 50 years ago. Even though 50 years ago, everyone said that by now, thanks to automation, those jobs would be gone, and they're not. Now there are some jobs that have historically disappeared thanks to automation. You know, for instance,、uh, working at a central where you direct people's calls and whatever. That was seen, you know, back in the nineteen twenties as、uh, as like a, a future profession, and already then, already in the nineteen thirties, it was redundant thanks to、uh, automation.、Um, so, of course, some jobs, again, some jobs are definitely going to be gone thanks to automation. I can't say exactly which, but no one can. Okay, no, anyone who tells me, I think the uncertainty is why a lot of people are unnerved about it, though, right? Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, there are and the fact that we've seen it happen of, of professions where you could have automized long ago, and and you still haven't, and there's other reasons preventing it. It's not just that、uh, technology, you know, needs to get better because the technology was already sufficient back then. Uh, and by you know the laws of supply and demand, those jobs should already then be you know fucking automized,、uh, but they're not, and、uh, to a large extent, they're not going to be because there are other reasons why you want people in those positions. That, that's my point, basically. Yeah. So I, I, again, look, what I'm what I'm saying is, it's not that there isn't some cause for concern when it comes to automation. Okay, you should be concerned. But this fucking fear mongering is is just fucking ridiculous, and I I wish Yang would just fucking stop it. It's 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 bad. Okay, so like, give give me an instant. Like, are you cool to talk about this for a few more minutes? Oh yeah, sure, you... sure. All right, so give me、uh, an example of of Yang fear mongering, or like how it's blown out of proportion. 
Oh, for instance, when, when he talks about it, oh, it's automation that's taking your job, you know, and, and not the immigrant, the blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's, uh, that's not really statistically true. Uh, outsourcing has been the biggest reason for jobs disappearing from uh, the job market, not automation. So not only is that like fear mongering in a, in a way, but that's, uh, that's also just fucking lying, to be honest. I mean, that's right. that's the thing, though, right? The reason why outsourcing is so popular is because it's paying people less than they would have to be paid. It's a cheaper America. alternative exactly. for these corporations. For alternatives, and you know what else is a cheaper but alternative? How, how, how about this, be? though? Like, you know, if instead of, like, going to, um, instead of uh, outsourcing employment, you know, would you <clears> not <throat> just get machines to do the same thing? I mean... I, again, again, there's plenty of professions where they could have done that long ago because already back then the technology was at that point. And they still didn't because there's other reasons you want people in those positions. One of them is actually cost. Again, Burger King, Burger King noticed that it was actually a lot more expensive than they expected to have machines running. Okay, um, you see a lot of these uh, factory jobs, for instance, you know, where you have these uh, big fucking machines, you know, doing these fucking things. Um, they're doing the kind of stuff where they actually get away with it because per pound being lifted by these machines. It actually makes more money to have the machines than people. But when it comes to other labors in the fucking uh, you know factory floor, it still pays better to have people doing it than machines, okay? Because a machine has to be pre-programmed for its movements and whatever, and that's fine when you're going to move a big fucking piece of fucking metal from one place to another. When you're going to do the finer works, okay? No, it's better to just have a person fucking doing it, and it's always going to be because it's just more practical, okay? Uh, think about it this way. Why don't we just fucking send like fucking robots to, to Mars instead of a human being? The reason is, the, the reason we want to send a human being to Mars. Wait, we do? Yeah, yeah. Listen, no, we, we, we do, we do. But here's the thing. <laughs> the, the, no, but listen. By a robot, okay, okay, I mean, okay. I, by a robot, I mean like an actual bipedal thing, okay? Um, not, not, not the rovers that, that we have um, up there. Um, but the, the reason we actually want to send a person up there, at least one, Okay, before you know, we fucking start working on the fucking bases and shit. It's because a person is always going to be able to do more than any robot. Okay, a person has fucking fingers they can work with, <laughs> and fucking feet to walk around with, can fucking traverse terrain without any fucking. Sure, but instead of sending there. like a dozen people, they send you know a few people and a few robots. Yeah, the, some the, robots. No, 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 the no, labor there is split up based on necessity and and what makes practical exactly, sense. Exactly, exactly, and that's what I'm saying. Just like some robots have replaced some jobs, okay, and, and history has proven this, there are some jobs that can't be replaced by robots. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, that's the concern with automation, though, at least for, I agree for with, people with like that, me. But my, my, my concern comes from the fact that a lot of common jobs are going to vanish, and, and we know that retraining those people for other kinds of employment, like becoming a coder, it's, it's not successful. The success rate is roughly no, no, like no, no, 10 no, no, to 15 no. percent. That, 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 that's not really true at all. It, it depends on age. Uh, if you are uh, 50 years or older, yeah, it's it's it, it's usually not successful at all. But that has more to do with uh, with uh, a type of age discrimination, if you will. It's the boomers. It's the boomers. Well, yeah. I mean, that's still a lot of people, though. Yeah. No, no, but no, but listen. Uh, we know that retraining, however, is very effective if we're talking like uh, uh, under the age of 40, and it's somewhat effective when we're talking 40 to 50. But it's basically people over 50; they're pretty much fucked uh, because. Because of <laughs> Okay, I just want to say this though. I mean, like that's a cause for concern. We're talking about the boomers not having uh, reliable employment. A lot of them, at least. Yeah, and you know, like fuck them, but like not fuck them that much. Like seriously, that's a little bit much. I can't just. I, no, I, I, I don't want good. anyone to be uh, out of a job, you know. And I, I wish we could of have those fucking jobs for everyone. That's why I said before, instead of this fucking UBI shit. How about we just fucking go from an eight-hour workday to a six-hour workday, and then we get jobs for everyone? Are you going to progressively cut down hours as time goes on, or what's the... Yeah, no, I, 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 literally, I, I literally said this before, okay? Sure, uh, I just want to make sure we, that we I, I we get don't it. Even, we, we don't even need to do uh, what they did like fucking uh, 150 years ago, where they literally went from a 12-hour workday to an eight-hour workday overnight. I'm talking like maybe over the span of four years, you go from an eight hour workday to a six hour workday. And every year you decrease it by like half an hour. Okay. So it's a slow gradual, gradual change. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think that six hour workday is the future. Okay. Uh, that way, if automation really is as fucking bad as Yang makes it out to be, then that would be a perfectly fine solution 
to the problem because the UBI all just but it's not be, though no 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 it, it is because then you will share the jobs if you reduce the hours sure but for how long I mean like you know give it a few decades and how, well, how much well, employment like, is there going to be then, 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 then you reduce it even more because here's the thing but what about when there's nothing left though let me ask you something why right. are we supposed to put in hours that are not productive anyway yeah, I'm not against cutting down hours. I'm just saying uh -huh, that like exactly. this is not a this is not a reliable plan long term. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's not a bad uh, idea I'm, I'm inherently. So, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. How how is it not reliable? Because there's what a finite. We don't have any hours left. That's there's a finite amount of time you could cut down. Eventually, you're gonna get yes. to a point where it's like, okay, we have like a, an hour. Okay, but, day. but but listen, listen, listen. If machines ever get that fucking effective and automation is that fucking prevalent as you guys are making it out to be. Then it's not actually a problem at all, now, is it? Because I mean, the more we rely on it, though. Time. Wait, hold on. Why uh, is it not a problem at all? Yeah. No, because again, again, this, this is what I don't understand. Like, if technology really is that fucking capable, okay, as you guys describe it now here in your in your hypothetical, if that is the case, then we might as well fucking create the fucking utopia that Marx fucking envisioned, where everyone has fucking leisure time and no one does any fucking work at all. Okay, so I mean, we're not so, saying that. I'm just I'm asking you to elaborate on the finite uh, amount of time part of your plan. No, I mean, of course, th there is a limit to how much fucking you can reduce uh, work to. But what I'm saying is, you're never you're never going to reach the point where you're ever going to be able to shorten it down more than, I don't know, fucking four hours, I would say, because then it gets fucking ridiculous. And no, that many fucking jobs in society is never going to fucking disappear, okay? You're never going to get to the point where you literally have to shorten uh, the work hours more than fucking four hours to make the jobs fucking last for everyone. It's okay, not, how it's often are you going to cut time, though? How often? Uh... I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, again, we, we did this fucking shit uh, once like 150 years ago. L listen, 150 years ago, we shortened uh, the, the, the workday from 12 hours to eight hours overnight. Okay. That was also a very different time, though. I'm sorry, what? 150 years is a long time. Well, yeah, but but the the point still stands, though, okay? Because people I understand that to that some extent, but I, I I I would I would say that you have to take in time, you know, you have to take. And what happened that back then was what happened back then was because you had back then an artificial unemployment, okay? The companies wanted people to work long hours, so they didn't they didn't actually have to hire more people back then, so they could keep a high unemployment because a high unemployment keeps the unions weak because fewer people can be a part of the union. And, and can afford to pay to be a member of a union, okay? So what this fixed was the artificial unemployment. So you had an artificial force back then to keep people in unemployment, and that fixed it. Overnight, you went from a 12-hour workday to an uh, to an eight-hour workday, and that solved a huge portion of the fucking unemployment, okay? It dropped li literally overnight because now companies were forced to hire more people, and the unions got stronger uh, as a result as well. And sure. so... Yeah, so, so that, that's the point. Just like you had an artificial unemployment back, they, back then, if automation is as bad as people make it out to be, you're going to have a, 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 an unemployment that's going to be of comparable size in the future as well, and shortening the, t the, the fucking uh, uh, workday is going to solve that too. Okay, so by how, how, how much? Was it like six or four? Again, again, I, I'm, I'm just saying... If you shorten it from eight hours to six hours, again, you don't have to do it overnight. It can be a slow, gradual process. You mm -hmm. will solve a huge part of the unemployment because then you're forcing companies to hire more people. It's that simple. Okay, and, and then what? Because I mean, like, the population's going to keep increasing. Like why, well, is, then, why is that so much more preferential to you're, UBI? You're, you're framing this as though it's like a, a plan we can rely on, but I mean, like, for how long? I mean, I mean you know... Again, look, how, how far do you think that automation can go, really? Like, like, what are we talking about? Like, what, what do you guys well, I'm ta What I'm taking into account is the population rising. There be, you know, more people need jobs. Yes. And, and as the more, uh, as more the jobs are going to... Yeah, yeah, but, but listen. More jobs the, are going to be lost yeah, to automation. Listen, listen. And so naturally, as, you're going to have this huge pool of people who don't have a job. So are you going to no, no, keep no, no, cutting no, no, hours no, 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 ad no, no, infinitum? You're assuming, you're assuming static conditions, okay? That, that, that's not how an economy works. When a population grows, the economy grows as a whole. This is just basic shit. And I I, I don't see the problem. But I mean, like, we've reached an impasse here. Anyway, <laughs> I, I think people are sick of this topic, so maybe we should move on. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right. Uh,
was a good Honestly, conversation, though. We'll move yeah. on, but I, I'll just say this. Like, I don't get how this could be something that is sustainable because i mean like you're gonna keep cutting time so it's gonna come a point where it's like okay I mean, no you're, you're assuming then that automation is going to continue indefinitely uh, what i'm, I'm saying talking about is, automation plus a higher no, 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 listen, listen what i'm saying though is realistically there is going to be a limit no matter how advanced your technology is there's only so much you can fucking automize so far there is going to be a practical limit where it's just not worth automizing any further you, you can't even automize any further, okay? There's always going to be a set limit of uh, hours where you're going to need people to work, period. That's, that's just the reality of it. So no, you're not going to have to fucking cut hours indefinitely. There will be a point where you don't have to cut hours anymore. I can't tell you exactly where that line is, and, and neither can you when it comes to automation. Again, it's speculation here, but I'm just going by what I've actually researched and what uh, the practical reality of it is. I'm also basing... My ideas here on actual historical grounds, like I mentioned before, there's actual historical pre, uh, prerequisites to make some kind of prediction about the future. And what I am saying is, if automation really is as bad as Yang makes it out to be, a simple solution would simply be to shorten the workday so you're forcing companies as well as governments to hire more people, and voila, presto. And maybe you need to f f fucking shorten it in the future, uh, shorten it in, 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 the, in the future as well. I don't know. I, I really don't know, but my point is, that's a more valid solution that would actually get people into jobs than a UBI, which is more like a Band-Aid. That's basically yeah. what I'm saying. UBI and, and, is not a definitive but, solution. It's, it's supposed to be a mild remedy for which yeah. society can build something on top of. Yes, yes, but uh, again, let, let, let's change the topic. Honestly, I'm kind of bored with it, too. Yeah, yeah, sure, we've, sure. We've, we've talked enough about automation. All right, let's, let's talk about uh, bananas. Okay, cool. Hungry artist. It's a banana. <laughs> oh, dip, man. Oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> this oh, yeah, I remember this. Should have shoved it up his ass. That would have been a better piece of work. You should have yeah, done look it. Look at me. I'm TJ Couric and just shoved <laughs> it up. Yeah, that would have been a real piece of work right there. That would have been a, a, a good promo for TJ's channel. Yeah. Yeah, I I, uh, I heard about this story. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, he did. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the guy eats it. The guy ends up eating it. Ho ho! Hungry man. artist. In the same way that as uh, the artist put the banana on the wall, banana. He say, I'm coming here to eat the banana. That's my performance. Cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, he eats the banana. That's awesome. He went here. He ate, ate the banana. No. I saw it. Truly a work he of art. He was not arrested, but we asked him to leave the booth. Oh, okay. What? Well, I, you showed him. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. All right. Bye. And to leave the fair. And we have his contact and everything. So oh, we shit. can go, we can go further. What but the fuck? Why? 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 We're going to dox him. This? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? He just brought- he was- he did a stupid thing with a banana and you're gonna be like, Yeah, you know, we could fuck up his entire life if we wanted to. We could really ruin this guy's Somebody day. Somebody said know? this banana was worth over a hundred grand, so we're gonna fine him that. Yeah. That would- no, that was the guy who put up the banana originally. He was the guy who ate it. No, no, this is, uh, somebody else. Oh, someone else this ate like, the banana? Yeah, somebody else who had, like, a, a, an art piece at this gallery. Oh, damn, shit. Just walked up to it and he's like, fuck this shit, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, this is I real art. I don't think we will. Banana. The banana was swiftly... Yeah, it's not the same. Banana! So they can replace it. I mean, obviously they can, but I mean, like, just as far as, like, the value of the, the, the art, I'm using that term loosely, even the value of that, like, they can just easily replace it with just a, a normal, like, Chiquita banana. Alright. Cool. I thought he bought it. No, he just took it. So yeah. My God. He took the banana. I mean, you know, j j just imagine, just imagine, because this is the kind of shit I was talking about before when it comes to rich fucks who don't actually deserve their wealth. If you're the yeah. kind of per if you if you are the kind of person who have a fucking a hundred and twenty fucking dollars to spend on this piece of shit, you know, fucking eating basically your investment in front of you, and you laugh <laughs> about it. You don't deserve your fucking money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, isn't that, isn't that just natural selection? You fucking communist piece of shit. What do you think this is? Some kind of communist pop podcast? There is no I, there is only we. 
Yes. Yes. Your labor with us or against us. All right, we're going to let you go, Sandre, because uh, you're getting sleepy. And so yeah, am I. Yeah, that was I. a fun time. Yeah, it's, uh, we've been on for like almost two hours, so uh, thank you for dropping in. We may not agree on everything UBI, but it's been a pleasure, so thank you for being on. Well, you, you know you know me. Like, I uh, I try to help out the less fortunate, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I do I do my piece of charity. May I have you know, some more fucking... burgers from your ass, No, we'll please. have you back sometime. It was fun having you. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> no, it, it was actually really, really, really fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, you, you guys are not half bad as hosts, so, um, Thanks, you know. Man. And uh, yeah. not, 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 not many people can handle me and my fucking assholeish ways, but um, I, I don't know. I mean, Swag has an excuse. He's kind of used to it uh, because we worked together before. But uh, you, Animan, sir, um, I have to say, like, I mean, uh, the, the way you handle me, um, either you're a twink or you're a really cool dude. I don't, I don't know. What I know how to handle a few assholes, man. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> Good. Anyway, uh, guys, uh, I, I just want to tell people about my channel so we don't fucking do it my channel and expect something that isn't. OK, so basically uh, the channel that they link to is my science channel. OK, that, that's the, the one that I fucking use actively um, and I make educational content in, in case you didn't fucking realize because you're a fucking dumb dumb. I, I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, you're really selling those <laughs> those dumb dumbs on your channel now. <laughs> Man, I make YouTube videos because it's it's fun. I, I don't I don't care, you know, if yeah. I grow or not. But look, if if I do, you know, fine, you know, whatever. Uh, I think it's fun to have new people. But anyway, j j j just know that I make educational content, okay? And uh, I make all kinds of videos. I make debunkings of uh, of myths and and falsehoods and whatever. Like nine uh, eleven. I, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you you you're funny. Uh, Hell yeah! So if you want to check that out, look up uh, the Sandre guy on YouTube. We're gonna have a link to that down below in the video info. And uh, yes. yeah, if you have uh, anything and, uh, else you wanna you wanna tell yeah. the audience, go ahead. For, yeah, for, for instance, I I've made a, a couple of videos now. I've responded both to uh, Sargon and Compu Computing Forever uh, regarding <laughs> climate change. No, no, I mean I, I haven't looked it, into it's, it. It's embarrassing. It's a, but look, someone has to give these people a fucking bitch slap. It, it might as well be me. I don't know. As, yeah. as, as you guys can tell, I have a talent for it. But anyway, um, yeah, go and check my channel out if you want to. Um, and uh, subscribe if you want to. Uh, but only if you really want to, to be honest. Uh, I, I don't I don't want people who do fucking a half measure. Like, I guess I'm going to fucking subscribe to this guy because I saw him and I thought he was funny. And then, like, these people don't fucking commit. You know, it's like, don't even Yeah, you do. Her. No, no. If you like my content, subscribe. But don't fucking subscribe just because you 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 think you might like my, my fucking content. Either you know by now or you don't. Just I, right, I don't want right, fucking right. pussies, basically. But anyway, uh, it was nice to be on here. And uh, kids, please run with scissors. I'm off. And do cocaine. Peace. <laughs>